Hello! In this video I download and install the Pixma G-Series to the PC and demonstrate how to use scanning software. This setup can be used for multifunctionals with a square size display. I put the compatible models on the screen. For the detailed product review refer to the notification in the upper right corner of the screen. In this video I cover the following. In the first part I download installation files from one of the official download pages. The models that have different regional names are compatible with the same drivers and software. The software I cover later, so let's first download the drivers. This printer has been set up and connected to Wi-Fi in the previous video, in the upper right corner. The setup has detected my printer and few minutes later the printer is installed. It may take longer than shown in this video. Let's print a test page. The installation is complete and I could continue online and register the printer and so on. Let me share a couple of things about the driver. There are three quality modes, where Eco mode saves a little bit of ink without significant quality loss. I put my test prints in three different modes to the screen. These models do not support auto two-sided print, but you can select manual two-sided to save paper. Here I demonstrate printing manual to sided in mono. Even and odd pages are separately printed. As only black ink was used, this print is water resistant. The black ink in Pixma G series with 4 inks is pigment. And the last demonstration is long banner print up to 1.2 meter. About the software that I have used for this print I tell you later in the video.
Let me show the Inkjet Scan Utility scanning software. First, I auto scan a document and start the scanning from the PC. Without changing any settings, the document has been scanned to the searchable PDF. Next I select OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. The result is text only extracted from the document and opened in the notepad. There are a lot of different scan settings available. Here I quickly walk through different options in the scan settings, as different presets are available. To scan to cloud using Canon Print app, find in the short video in the upper right corner. In the application settings, you can set which application opens the scan. The second tab is about scanning from the device screen. On the printer, select Scan and then select the network PC where the device is installed. Also, this time I use Auto Scan. Select Setting and press Mono or Color Start. This time I press Mono Start, which scans the document in the grayscale mode. For next demonstration, I put two photos to the platen. After the pre-scan, the device will find out there are two photos and scan and crop in two files. Here I recorded with the cover open to show how scanner works. Photos are scanned with highest resolution and saved to JPEG format. There are more useful functions like Stitch Assist, which I have demonstrated in the Leader Scanner series video, and here I run the scan gear for advanced users. First I do the preview and then basic and advanced mode are available. In advanced mode, you can play with the image settings. Here is quick demonstration and then if I need to scan only small part of the image in the higher resolution, I can select up to 1200 dpi or even more if I manually type in the resolution. In the last part, I comment on Pixma software, which is available to download. The poster artist does not need to be installed as there is web version available. I put the link on the screen. You can print up to 1.2 meter long prints on this printer. Next is Inkjet Assistant tool which has been installed already with Master Installer and I will cover it in the maintenance video in the upper right corner. Then you find Easy Software. See the description below for more information and that would be all in this video.
find more about printers on my channel, feel free to comment and subscribe to support the channel as it helps me to grow and create more videos. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.